I was laying in bed the other night and I just had the best idea come to me. The CPU processor in your computer gets very hot if it's not properly cooled. It just gets hot in general and then you use a cooler to cool it. Now the first question here is can a computer function while completely submerged in oil? And then the second part of this question is will the oil get hot enough to fry anything? Now the point at which things usually fry is about 325 Fahrenheit, which is about 150, 160 degrees Celsius, which if we're lucky, our processor should be able to get to while being cooled by oil. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if this whole gallon of oil is going to be enough to completely submerge this motherboard. If it's not, and if the thing is still working, then we will go get more oil. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that the computer will work within oil. I'm not very confident that it will fry something while it's in oil. Before we get started, we're gonna build our little computer here. We're gonna be using a uh, AMD FX8350. This is a pretty high power processor, at least back in the day it was, but it does use a lot of power, which means it uses makes a lot of heat. We'll be throwing in 16 gigabytes of DDR3. And I had a solid state drive around here somewhere. Regular hard drives have what's called a breathing hole, and I don't believe that they will work while submerged in oil, but we might just try it anyway. What did I do with that solid state drive? Ah, I got it. I have an old Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD, and with any luck, this might generate some heat as well. Now this drive already has Windows on it. The Windows will have to reconfigure hardware. It doesn't know that it's gonna be oily hardware. I'm so excited to do this and uh, let's just get started. First, we have to build the PC, so let's do that. We're putting in the processor now, our main generator of heat. We're we'll putting in the two sticks of RAM. I mean, one stick of RAM is probably good enough, but why not put two? our SSD hooked up with a SATA cable. We're just gonna leave that like there. We already have an issue. I don't know how I'm gonna get the HDMI cable in. That's better. This computer looks like it's ready to be submerged to me. As long as it turns on, of course. Okay, the computer is plugged in. I believe this thing is starting up already. Without further ado, because this thing is already heating up, let's do it. It already shut off. It has already shut off. That's not good. How did that happen already? I guess computers don't boot submerged in oil. Before we give up, we're gonna attempt to boot the computer. It is on while submerged in oil. So it, it, it kind of juked us out, it seems. Will it boot? That's the real question. Windows is having an issue turning on. What I'm thinking is the computer already overheated and that's why it shut down. But now that it's in the oil, it's not shutting down. We have a functional computer completely submerged in oil. Wow, I gotta show you guys this. Look at what's happening to the oil right on top of the processor. That is weird. That's super weird. Look at that. Wow, that's weird. I believe the computer has shut off once again. It has shut off. We're gonna get this to work. This will work. The oil is actually really warm already. I believe we just turned it back on. We did. This is gonna make it really hard for Windows to boot. I expected the oil to cool it at least a little bit better than it is. And now that I'm thinking about it, if the oil were to actually get to frying temperature, the computer would definitely be overheating. Come on. Oh, it shut off again. 
I mean, let's put in a Windows install disk and attempt to boot to that. How many times can the 8350 overheat? I think at the very least, this weird thing that the oil is doing on the processor is already a win. That is just freaky looking. So we can see here, the CPU is at 99 degrees Celsius. So this is gonna make it really difficult to actually use the computer. The, the oil is not cooling it at all. Let's see if we add more oil, if that will help it cool down. So we're at 102. Celsius. We're still adding oil. We're still adding oil, giving it cooler oil. We have almost a gallon of oil in there. It's just sitting at 102 Celsius. I'm surprised that it is doing 102 Celsius to begin with. It's still doing that weird, weird thing. So we do have another shutdown. So let's, uh, let's change it up a bit kind of sad that I bought these things to fry and it's not looking like we're going to be able to fry things. I don't know why in my mind I figured that the oil could get that hot without the computer overheating. That was kind of an oversight in my mind. An overthought, if you will. So I've cleaned all of the thermal paste off of this cooler. We're just going to put this cooler in without the fan. We got to keep our oil nice and clean, don't we? All right, let's install this cooler. We're not gonna be able to see that weird thing on the CPU anymore, but at least we got to see it that once. That was really interesting. This oil is actually super warm. Okay, the cooler is on. Let's see how it handles temperatures now. We're going to short that power. It's turning on. We have a healthy 38 Celsius so far. And it's actually, okay, now it's going up. I was about to say, it's not going up. Oh, it's going up. 39. Let's get windows going. With any luck, this uh, cooler that I put on is going to make the oil much hotter because there's a lot more surface area to warm the oil. We might have just solved the issue. Windows is boot. Oh, Windows is not booting. Don't believe we've had a thermal event yet. I'll tell you what, the oil is much cooler than it used to be. I guess because there's a cooler on it. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's try to install Windows on this computer. I'm using an installation on this solid state that was from another computer, and sometimes it doesn't adjust to new hardware very well, but it's, it's worth trying installing Windows. Look, at the very least, I'm just super happy that we have a computer fully operational within oil, within vegetable oil. Next, I kind of really want to try olive oil, just because I'm an Italian and I like olive oil. I won't lie, I did look up to see if olive oil and vegetable oil were uh, conductive before doing this, and uh, it is actually a really good insulator of heat. It is not a conductor pretty much at all. So it makes sense that this is working. I'm not terribly surprised that it's working, but it's still a really cool experiment. Something's telling me we're not going to get this computer hot enough to fry anything. But it'll be really fun to have this thing at a working Windows desktop completely submerged in oil. I also do want to hook up a hard drive and try to transfer data between the two while it's submerged and see just how long it lasts. We're going to do that here in a little while. We are so back. Windows is now installing onto the oil PC. You got to do a little temp check. It's really, actually, it's, it's pretty warm. It's not hot though. It's not very hot, but it's, it's warm. I'll give it warm. The cooler, rather warm, not hot though. We're definitely doing something. <laughs> I'll see you guys as soon as this is done installing and then we can mess around with different things. What I'm finding kind of interesting is that little bubbles show up every so often, like, it's like trying to like boil in a way. Like, you know, you get like bubbles when things boil. 
That's kind of what I'm thinking is happening. Like it's getting so hot that it's creating little bubbles. Gosh, I forgot how long Windows 10 took to install. We're even on an SSD. Sure, we're on an oil PC, but still. This is taking forever. The oil is definitely getting warmer, like slowly but surely, but it's definitely getting warmer. I don't think we're gonna get the frying temperature, but definitely getting warmer. Let's put some breadcrumbs in. It didn't do much. Not much happened. Yeah. If those things start frying, I am going to freak out. Hard to fit a graphics card into this thing, so I just omitted the graphics card altogether. That could give us some more heat though, which would be good for our goal of frying stuff. Uh, who's gonna use this PC? Oil. Create a memorable password. Oil. 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 Security question number one. First pet's name, oil. Born, oil. <laughs> oil. And this is the best part of Windows 10 setup. I used to love doing this. Ready? And we're done. <laughs> hey, and we are into Windows 10. Did it just find a graphics driver or did it just die? Okay, it found a graphics driver. One of the first things I'm super curious about is what's the speed test like? Does this change our internet speed at all? It doesn't affect internet speed at all. If anything, it made it better. So my next plan of action is to start a torture test on the CPU, make it generate as much heat as possible and see just how hot we can make this oil. Good old Prime 95 for our FX 8350. We're gonna use the maximum heat option and start our speed test, or our torture test. Using core temp to uh, check temperatures while our torture test is running. And it looks like we're currently at 70 degrees Celsius. That's really not hot at all. All eight cores are at 100% usage before Celsius. So it went up to 77 and then it went back down to 74. I think the oil is keeping this thing at a solid 75 degrees Celsius at max. Oh yeah, it's definitely way hotter than it was. I should have brought some kind of meat thermometer or something. I knew I was gonna make this video today. Still no like any, not even a sizzle coming out of the breadcrumbs. We are now up to 80 degrees Celsius from the CPU. The cooler is almost too hot to touch. And the oil, if I keep my finger in here too long, it will burn. The oil is keeping this thing functional. Oh, no. Um, there's a hole in my plastic. This is not good. This is not good at all. The oil's leaking out. How did we get a hole in our plastic? Uh-oh. We are slowly losing oil and it's hot oil. This is not good. This is not good at all. Before we run out of time, let's throw a hard drive in and see what we can do with it. Judging on the, um, the partitions on this hard drive, I think this came out of a PlayStation. What I wanna do is start a transfer to the hard drive and then put it into the oil and see what happens. I want that to be the finale of this video. Now that we're not running a stress test, it should stay on for much longer, but now, we have the issue of oil about to go everywhere, and I do not want that. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. It's still transferring. It's still transferring. You can see air bubbles coming out of the breather hole. It's still transferring. We're still transferring with the hard drive completely submerged. Air bubbles are coming out of the hard drive like it's nothing. Look at the air bubbles coming out and we're still transferring. We're still transferring and all of the air is coming out of the hard drive as we speak. And we're still transferring. 
The hard drive works submerged in oil. At least for now. We have two minutes left of this transfer. The oil is about to start coming off of my desk. That's what I really do not want to happen. We're still transferring and it's completely submerged in oil. I think it's all out of air inside of the drive. Oh, nope. <laughs> How much air can be inside of this drive? I'm waiting for no more air to come out and see if it'll continue to transfer. It doesn't seem to have affected the speed of the transfer at all. At all. It does not care that it's completely, more bubbles, it does not care at all that it's completely submerged in oil. Wow. Now that's exciting. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I thought for sure once I put it in, it would quit working. How much air can be inside of this hard drive? I feel like every time air comes out, it's more breathing happening. Wow. More air. <laughs> you can definitely see our uh, oil level is dropping. I'm really worried about this making such a mess, but I am committed now. Come on, give us some more. A little more air. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But will we be able to play the video? Will we be able to play the video once it's done transferring? And will it be oily? Wow, I can't believe this. More air. How much air is inside of this hard drive? Where is it getting the air from? These are questions we must have answered. The transfer is almost complete. Let's play the video. Oh my gosh, it's playing the video like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. What was I making a video about like 10 years ago, five years ago? What am I doing? We're playing a video off of an oiled up, submerged in oil hard drive. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Oh, I'm comparing these headphones to those headphones. Got it, got it. Man, I am great at filming, me just sitting here. I miss the car that used to have this key. I miss that car like crazy. Wow, just wow. Can you all believe that? It's still putting out air. How much more air can it have? This is gonna be such a mess to clean up. Wow, I'm impressed. Well guys, I think we've answered at least a few questions about uh, submerging a computer in vegetable oil. The hard drive works. I think that was the craziest thing of this whole entire video. Uh, I, I was kind of expecting the computer to function while in oil, but I did not expect the hard drive to function while in oil. And I bet you we can still play this video. I don't know for how long that hard drive is going to work while submerged. This is actually crazy to me. I, I, that I'm 100% surprised by. I'm kind of disappointed that we couldn't get the oil to a temperature in which it fries. Hush. I'm kind of sad that we weren't able to fry anything inside of the oil. I don't know why in my mind I thought that would work. Like, sure, the CPU would get too hot, but I also thought, like, it's a possibility. I mean, CPUs can get up to 100 Celsius, and then if the oil was at 150 and the CPU was putting all of its heat into the oil, then maybe, I don't know. I have such a mess to clean up now. I'm gonna go dump all this in the sink. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I bet you you guys have some really good ideas of what I could have done with the submerged oil PC, but I now have a broken uh, plastic tub. I'll have to get another plastic tub if you guys wanna give me ideas to do with this. But apart from that, uh, hopefully once a week, I will be bringing you some kind of fun experimental content. I'm thinking next week we might try to take the individual chips off of a piece of RAM while the computer is running. That sounds like a fun idea to me. Um, also, if you have suggestions, uh-oh, the oil's starting to drip. If you have suggestions of kind of experimental, fun, techy things you wanna see, put them down below. Please like the crap out of this video. This is one of the first long form videos I've done in a very long time, dedicated long form. And uh, yeah, it's really fun and I gotta get this cleaned up. Bye guys.